you guys lean on each other? Did one of you consider bailing on it or? Yeah. Um, they were very helpful. Yeah. <coughs> I, I don't know that I would have started the business if we had started the business had we not had each other. Yeah. I think the combination of the, having a business, and a business, it sounds so theoretical, it's just you have to have a picture in your head of a world that's better, that's different from the world that exists. That's a business. So you, you, then you go, okay, well, this could be. It isn't right now. We're going to go bring that change. That's what a business is. And to embark on a mission like that, it helps to have people to do it with. Because you feel better about going off on that journey with others. If you click with them, that's the key. It should be that you feel better about the numbers. Um, so yeah, I, I think they, they definitely help me. I think over time, we realized that um, you know what, what were the needs of the company. Yeah. So one of my other co-founders, Derek, um, who's no longer with us, who's now running another company out in Seattle. Um, we both were generalists, right? And over time, he sort of started spending a lot of his time on finance and technology. And I would spend a lot of my time on sales, marketing, and the organization. And that was helpful, because in the beginning, we couldn't afford a CFO, an IT person, a product person. If we needed something done, he would figure out, just by Googling it, how to build a network. I mean, we had a state-of-the-art network. We were the first network to use Linux instead of Windows that went into digital place-based media. I now know that there are companies, now small than us, but at the time that had 10, 15 engineers that couldn't do what he did in the night. On a subject he had to do nothing about. Never underestimate what humility, hard work, and smarts in a tremendous quantities, along with a non-bureaucratic environment of one, or two, or three, can accomplish. So he got a lot done. Um, so that was good. But over time, we needed to control them, right? We didn't want to be innovative with our financial reporting. We just wanted to follow the gap. Um, you know, we didn't want to be innovative in how we set up our VoIP system. We just needed a VoIP provider to come in. Um, so, you know, over time, uh, those needs were not there. And, you know, for a very brief period, he became VP of, I think, mean, technology, but then soon that to run his own, his own company. Um, Tron, on the other hand, really specialized and focused on things that were core competencies. Uh, marketing, media, and now people. You know, she's now our chief people officer, which she's doing a talk tonight at another event on, yeah. on a plug on hiring. And, uh, go, oh, no, no, uh, yeah. It's a different city. Yeah. No. Um, but you know, so so you got if you want founders to stay with it, make sure that their core competency, their interests, their instincts, they're focused on things that are core competencies, right? That are really important to the value of the business. That's the important part. So I think we were all there for each other in the beginning. Yeah. What allowed um, Trava and I to continue and stay really engaged 